Uh, I'm Junior Ishigami. I'm based on Tokyo. So today, uh, I will talk about the uh, water garden project. Uh, this is a project to make a, a new garden the, in the site of the existing hotel. The, this hotel is located in the north part, in north part of Japan. Through this project, I want to create a new natural environment in the forest, in, in, in the existing forest. So, and also the, I want to create a, another nature in the existing, existing natural environment. This is the aerial photograph. So, the, this blue part is the existing hotel. So, this red part is the site of the garden. The, the area of the site is more than 60,000 square meters. The existing condition of the site is the meadow. The, and also, the originally, this site was a, a rice field. At the same time, the, the, we have the, uh, another product in this site. The, we are planning to make a, a new hotel site here. And also, the site of the area of the, this site is also the 60,000 square meters. The, the area of the site is the both sites is same. The, the present condition of the new hotel site is forest. The, the, however, the, in case of the, con, the construction of the new hotel building in the neighboring site, the, we have to cut the most of the tree in this site. So, therefore, the, we intend to move the uh, neighboring forest entirely on this site. So the, this is a, a photograph of the site. The, you can see the forest here. The, uh, this is the site for the new hotel. The, and also, the, we decided to move the, this, all this forest in this site. The purpose of this project to, is to reconstruct the existing environmental element the, and the make a new garden here. The, I don't want to use the new element from the outside of this site. The, I want to use the only element of this environment to make a new garden. So the 50 years ago, the, this site was the rice field. And also, the, more than 100 years ago, the, this site was a forest. I want to superimpose the history of the scenery of this site. I will, I will superimpose the scenery of the beautiful, beautiful water landscape, such as the rice field, and also the scenery of the tree landscape, such as the forest. Both two uh, scenery I will superimpose on top of each other and uh, reconstruct it. This is a plan. The gray part is a uh, water, and also. This is the inland plan. The gray part is the uh, pond. And also, the, the, like this round, is the trees. The, I, I plan the scenery as if the mix with the uh, water and the trees. So this is the detailed drawing of the pond. The upper one is the grand plan. And the lower figure is a section drawing. The, each pond is connected by the pipes. And the water is always the, in condition to flow. The, in addition, the, you can see the uh, cross section. The, the water level and the ground level will, will be completely flat, the same height. This is the drawing of the each pond. The more than 160 ponds are planned in this site. So the, the, the old shape of the, uh, each pond is completely different. So this is an old tree list which we plan to move. The, these are all three of the next forest. We research the shape of the old tree and also we research the uh, height and the width and also the, the we research the uh, old species of the in this site. The, this is the plan. The old tree which I show you in the pre pre previous slide is originally in this site. The, we move all three in this forest to the next site like this. So I'm considering the, about uh, uh, what is the landscape planning and also the difference, difference of the landscape, landscape planning and also the architecture planning. The land, the normally, landscape planning is the making the zoning of the species of the plant, plants. 
So the nobody knows the, uh, the what kind of tree is coming, what kind of the uh, shape, what kind of shape of the uh, plant is coming in the site before construction. But the uh, architecture planning, of course, we uh, we make the zoning. But uh, the after the zoning, that we make a plan, and also we make a detailed drawing to make a space. But the uh, uh, landscape planning, the, uh, we don't know the what kind of the uh, shape of tree is coming, so we don't know the detail of the space. The, so, the, but the, this project, the, we research the old tree, and also the, we make the, uh, the old tree model the, based on the researching. And then the, we can the, recognize the what kind of the tree is coming here. So the, even if the landscape project, the, I, I can create a, a lot of type of the spaces in between trees. So the, we study a lot. The, we study the relationship with the a tree and the shape of the pond. The tree and the pond are planted at a close distance. So the extremely high density of the pond and trees, which does not exist in the natural environment, this is uh, realized. So the, the we use this industrial machine. So normally, the, if the, we have to move the big tree to the another side, in that case, we spend the one year or two years, three years, something. Because the, uh, if we have to move the, like this big tree, we have to, first we have to cut the root of the trees. And then the, we, have to, we have to wait the, uh, one year or two years or something. But the, in that case, the, 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 in the surrounding of the root of the tree, the, there is an ecosystem of the, a lot of lives. But if we, have, if we cut the root of the tree and then we wait one year or two years, in that case, the, a lot of ecosystem is destroyed. And then the, a lot of life is the delay, uh, the, will be dead. But uh, if we use this industrial machine, we can move the uh, tree very quickly. The, we can move the big tree in the uh, few hours. So in this meaning, the, we can keep the, uh, the uh, original ecosystem surrounding of the root. The, and then the, we can move the uh, old ecosystem to the next side. So the, we move the tree, the decided position one by one. So this is the photograph, the time frame that we start to the move the trees. The, we will create a countless pond between trees. This is the photograph that before pouring the uh, water in each pond. Now, each pond is waterproofed. So the plant that does not the, grow up the nearby the water can coexist water and the trees. The old pond are connected by pipes. So the, the water flowing, flow, the, the, the flowing from the uh, next river and then the, through the old pond and then go back to the river. This is the same system as the rice field. So countless pond, the a lot of number of the pond, a very large glass garden, these three elements create a new scenery which does not exist in the natural world. The light, shadow, reflection, water, and ground, they mix together. The old border are blur. The tree and the pond clouded at the high density, which does not exist in the natural world. The, was it originally here? The, is it newly created here? The, I'm going to make those things ambiguous. In the summer season, the water level lights up so the water crosses the border of the pond. Furthermore, the outline between ground and the water becomes very ambiguous. As a result, the ground level and also the water level becomes very flat. The strong sunlight in the summer season makes the strong black shadow on the ground and the water. Depending on the season, the scenery will change a lot. This is the autumn. So a lot of leaves, in the, the water of the pond. In the winter time, it, go, it is going to snow. The white ground and the black pond create a monotone view because the water is always flowing. So the water never frozen. So the water keeps the uh, condition of the liquid. 
So the surface of the water reflects the surrounding scenery of the winter season. And also the white snow keeps the ground. And then the, the white snow and the black water make the, the different composition from the uh, summer season. By rearranging the element of the natural world, the we are creating the new scenery that never exists in the nature. So visitors can enjoy to walk following the stepping stone in the beautiful scenery. So this is another nature which is completed by the reconstructing existing environmental element. The we don't use the, we, we don't use the any new element from the outside of this site. That we only use the element of the uh, existing environment, and then that we arrange the uh, layout of the existing element to make a new nature. So that this is a, a new environment between the artificial environment and the natural environment. Uh, through this project, that I want to try seeking new abstraction of the nature by creating the new artificial environment. So this is the philosophy of the, uh, this project. Thank you.